Hello, this is a video showing you how to add a widget area to a StudioPress theme. It only works on StudioPress.com. This video is about using a StudioPress.com theme and we're adding a widget area. So, first of all, I want to make sure that you understand whenever you edit a PHP file on your website, you can break your website. If it breaks, you'll just see a white screen and the only way you can fix it is by using FTP to log on to your site and repair it. So please be careful. You need to know how to back up all your files um, from your website using FTP and then how to repair them and replace them if you need to. So let's get started. What we need to do, if you go to this web page here, I've got it on, um, let's see, it's this one, it's BrianGardner.com Welcome Text Widget. That's the website with the web page that we're going to get the text from. So here's the web page. Read the web when you get there, read it and just see, you know, it gives you instructions there telling you what to do. But basically what you do, there are two pieces of PHP code and one piece of CSS code. And you need to copy the PHP code and put it into your studio press. Um, functions PHP file and the CSS code goes into your studio press um, CSS file so let's have a look I've copied this page we'll get, get, when you get to the page find the bit it says um, shows you the bits of code you've got to copy this one goes into functions PHP and there's another bit that goes into functions PHP just underneath it tells you there so you've got two pieces of PHP code so I've copied them onto me um, thing to make it a bit easier so this is the code I've copied from Brian Gardner's website this website here now we've got copied the PHP code from there and I'm going to go to my website I'm going to go into the dashboard go to appearance editor and then when you're in the editor look for theme functions and it'll say functions PHP on your theme there'll probably be a lot more stuff here um, this is the, the Genesis sample theme which is very simple compared to a lot of themes but you're looking for theme functions functions PHP and if you're not sure you're in the right theme just have a look here and make sure this is the theme that you're using so go to appearance editor look for theme functions functions PHP now at the bottom of this, the code that we copied, we're going to paste in. There we go. So we've copied the code from Brian Gardner's website and we've pasted the PHP code into functions PHP and click update. Now we've got some style sheet code we want to paste in. So we've got back to Brian Gardner's website. A bit further down the page, the two pieces of PHP code and then there's one piece of style sheet code CSS it'll tell you just above there um, you've got to paste this into your style CSS file in your studio press theme so paste copy that this this is for the uh, cascading style sheet code so we're going to now look for appearance editor style sheet style CSS that's what we need Go right to the very bottom. It's a big, big file. Is this style sheet CSS? Um, and we're going to paste in our style CSS code. Then click save again, or update. Right now, what we need to do is to add a widget area or drag a widget area. I'll show you what we've done. If we go to, to now, we need to go to appearance widgets. And over here, we've added this, this uh, widget area here. It wasn't there before, and we've added it. The code that we added made this appear. So we go to Appearance, Widgets, open up the Welcome Text widget area text box, and now we need to drag a text widget in there. Now, to save time, I've got one that I've already typed some text into. So just drag that one in I've just added um, a title and a little bit of information there click Save and then when we go back to our page this is the place it's going to appear 
this is where our new widget area will appear here. So refresh the page and there it is. This is what we've added. We added this in the widget, we, we typed this into our text widget and this is the widget area that we added. But at the moment it's on every page of our site and we, we don't want it to be. We want it to be only on um, the front page. So what we need is some conditional code. So in PHP what you can do, you can, you can um, tell the code where and when to display so this is this an if statement it's called conditional code I'm going to explain a bit more about this later on so we need to find the right place to put it so let's go back to our appearance editor theme functions PHP we'll go to the code we've been using now where you want to put it if you look for the, in the code we we're using this video is just about this one piece of code um, in the code that we've just used there's a bit that says add the welcome text section underneath that you'll see the bit that says function and then it says custom welcome text and you've got um, two parentheses there and then a curly brace so when you see the curly brace it's just before this genesis widget area so we're going to put it just before that bit and after this curly brace so just add this I'll show you a little bit later on just what we've done there so we've added an if statement or a conditional tag it's called um, so update the file and then we'll go back and we'll have a look and see what's happened so this is the front page and there's our widget area but we've told it only to display on the front page and not on pages or posts so it's not there right what we need to do now is change the hook that it hangs on because now it's here and I want it to appear above the sidebar over here instead so what we need to do we need to go to another website and it's called genesistutorials.com and the page we're looking for is visual hook hook guide so genesistutorials.com and look for genesis visual hook guide and then this page it shows you loads and loads of different things called hooks and what you can do with a hook you can just hang your content on any hook that's inside the genesis framework because studio press themes run on the thing called the genesis framework so we'll look down these this list and try and find a place in our website that we'd like the code to to appear um and there's all sorts of genesis um before the footer if you want it down the bottom you might want it before the footer but I, um we had it before i think before content or before content sidebar wrap maybe it was before where I want to put it is over here I don't know if you can see it says Genesis before sidebar widget area so what I need to do is just either copy or type out this code and it says Genesis before sidebar widget area now I've already typed that out somewhere here we go where is it before sidebar widget area this is the one I want to use so now all we need to do is go back to our um, functions PHP that we've been dealing with and what we need to do now is find the hook that we need to use and the hook if you look in the, the code we've been using look for add the welcome text section you'll see a bit that says add action and then there's uh, this one says before content sidebar wrap and we're going to change that for a new hook just paste in the hook that we found I'll just update that on this web page here we look through all these different hooks that are available and we chose one I chose this one that says Genesis before sidebar widget area and you've got to put the underscores in as well there's little underscores don't use the blue ones the, these are there's some that are sort of a, an orangey color and some that are blue um, because there are different types of hooks that do different types of things and we want these orangey colored ones so have a look choose one that you think might suit you and then change the hook as we've just done it I'll just show you what what that made happen so it's now here but it's moved it over here to see by changing the hook we change the position that the widget area appears in our website we did that just by changing the hook right I've got some slides because it does get a bit confusing so um, please be careful 
only do this if you know how to log on using FTP to your web space and you've backed all your files and folders up and you know how to repair or replace them uh, using FTP. If you break, if, if you um, if you get it wrong, if you, if you just put one single typo in when you're using PHP, your whole website will stop working and all you'll see is a white screen and you can't use WordPress to fix it. If you do that, you just can't use WordPress to fix it, it won't work. So you need to be able to log on using FTP to repair your PHP files and folders or files. So next, we use the studiopress.com theme. It won't work on any other type of website, just on a studiopress theme. We got the code from this place here, Brian Gardner's website. And this is where we added the hook. This is the, uh, the where we changed the hook. So if you find the right hook you want on the website I showed you, and then just put the hook in that place there. Search your code for this bit, and put the just swap this hook for the hook you want to use. And this is the um, the conditional tag that we used. So there, there are loads and loads. If you search for the WordPress codex conditional tags, there are loads and loads of conditional tags you can use. But it's, I can't explain all that just in one video. This one will make the um, our widget area appear only on the home page and this is where it goes if you look for add the welcome text section and then look for where it says function custom welcome text and here you've got two parentheses and then you've got a curly brace and just after the curly brace put your um, uh, your, your conditional tag there well thanks for watching I do hope that um, I haven't confused you too much because it is it is quite actually a, a complex thing that we're doing here um, and I'm trying to make it in you know just a few minute video so give it a try but be careful only do this if you know how to log on using FTP and you can fix your PHP files and folders if you have to thanks for watching bye for now